Hi, I'm Carrie from Red Curtain Addict, and I am sitting with four of the creators from Parksville Murders, and I am so excited for you to find out more about this because it is really a new immersive experience that combines film, technology, and opera. So thank you guys so much for being with me here today. Glad and to yeah, <laughs> and Annie, okay, I want to start with you. Mm -hmm. So Annie, what made you guys decide to do a virtual reality opera? How did that idea come about? Well, the story, to take you from the very beginning, began with a conversation between Kamala Shankaram, who composed it, and myself about how, and as sopranos, we're both sopranos, <laughs> we wanted to write a horror piece where we hired as many sopranos as we possibly could and then categorically slaughtered them. Oh that was kind of like very specific, <laughs> like how the story started. And at first, it was really about, like, we're going to make this very pulpy, kind of like a screamer type horror opera mm -hmm. and at the same time we were both kind of interested in talking about doing an immersive style opera and we were sitting here in our kitchen talking about this one night and our friend Cameron basically said well oh my god you got to talk to my friend Carrie Ann mm -hmm. you know because she's doing new media and she's like or I'm trying to remember exactly how it happened but it was a conversation where you basically came in and said you guys should put that into VR and at which we responded like, what is VR? Yeah, and what I love about it too is that you don't have to be within a specific theater, theater to see this. You can see it on your own VR set wherever yeah. you are at home. So right. that's really like, all great. All you need is a phone yeah. that, that powers the VR technology and a headset is great if you have it. You can just watch it on a smartphone. You right. can move your phone you around your like phone. this. You mm -hmm. can see it as a 360 video on a desktop. Mm -hmm. um, but if you have you know, a simple headset that usually costs around $80 or something, you plug in your your phone mm -hmm. and you can go into VR and watch this opera okay. and download it and stream it for free. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and this story is so creepy and scary to me. And I want to find out more about how you came about, Jerry, this storyline and what inspired, I know you, it was the idea of a horror opera, but what, how did you take that concept and then come about with this series? I'm a, along with everyone else, but m uh, me and uh, Kamala and I are huge horror like geeks. Oh. Like from way back, yeah, I mean, I love it. I love the genre, I think it's exciting. I mean, there's yeah. so many great movies right now, like, right, that are horror that it, it's like a, it feels like an entry point for many directors to really make a stamp, stamp and really create a great sense of style. Mm -hmm. So I've always loved it. And when they said Parksville is this like destination, my brain started, you know, whirring at the idea of two things, mm -hmm. that technology is moving a little faster than we all understand or know how to kind of grapple with, one. Two is um, a location that, um, what do you say, evil, evil has a destination now, and that's uh, Parksville. So it's a, we call it the Hellmouth. <laughs> so oh it's a place where evil has always been existing, and clandestinely, and when you used to go visit, the evil, you would go by buggy, or you would go by car. Yeah. Then you could visit it by telephone. Then you could visit it by radio. But now, yeah. you, <laughs> OVR watcher, can visit evil uh -huh. um, in the privacy of your own home. Okay, I have to ask, for those that don't really know about <laughs> Parksville, why is this place so scary? Why is it haunted? Why is it? Should go. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, it's great. It's a. You can speak more about Parksville yeah. in general. It's got a lot of vibe. Uh, I will say right now that there's a lot of good real estate value in <laughs> Hellmouth slash Parksville, New York. Gosh. Um, but uh, no, that's it's you know a, I have a, a house there mm -hmm. and um, and is it haunted? Because it sounds like haunted it's because there. it's a new build. <laughs> oh, okay. There's okay. plenty of other haunted <laughs> locations around the area. Yeah. But uh, uh, more than anything, it's it's like the woods and the it's kind of a desolate beat up, emptied out town. Mm -hmm. There was a stoplight and the stoplight went away and then the town disappeared. Yeah. So it has this vibe of like, you know, like emptiness and Ooh. things used to happen here. Yeah. And so that's like, just lends itself to ghostly things God. from the past, you know, lying oh about. Gosh. Just empty Main Street with like a, a diner that's like disintegrating. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, it's all like this shut up town. 
and it's beautiful. It's like picturesque. So it's this contrast of the woods and the beauty, mm -hmm. and then this like evidence of human, oh, that is you know, scary. existence. That is scary. It's kind of great. And this opera is a series, so you're now continuing to write for the next few episodes. Yeah, I mean, there's there are many storylines yeah. that you follow in. So like, and and it and it has a kind of because it's VR and because it's in 360, you are um, you're getting to make choices in this mm -hmm. world, and you're, you're being able to visit different mm -hmm. episodes and 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 choose the different storylines to mm -hmm. engage with. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so yeah, there's a lot of victims oh, right. <laughs> that find themselves in, in in Parksville. Wow. And Carrie Ann, okay, so you are the director of this production. How did you go about um, what, what Jerry was saying, that you have people, you look here, you kind of look here. How, do you, how did you control within that production that you guide people where to look within the VR experience? So as far as where they're placed, where the sound is coming from, how did you go about, because this is a very new experience. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely about camera placement and about sound and about light, mm -hmm. and then about composing for a 360 degree visual field. So just placement of everything. Mm -hmm. um, it was definitely a collaborative venture, I right. would say. Um, I was thinking a lot about pulsing of like sound and light, but also like this kind of like movement around the camera of shadows and bodies as well as sound and how that would direct the viewer to look and also how you can scare someone by having things like pop up or yeah. happen that they're not it expecting yeah. so not only were we um, working with like this live kind of like pretty much blocked it out like a play mm -hmm. you know like blocking but then we also added a layer of uh, special effects where watchers are like popping in and out so they're showing up like right next to you. Oh so there's gosh. that jump factor mm -hmm. that was added in as a layer. Um, so all of those things. Okay, and Todd, so you come up from a very unique background with the Blue Man Group, which is all about immersive and lots of creativity and amazing sound. So for this Parksfield's Murders, what's unique about this production and kind of how did you get involved with this type of this type of work? Well, my uh, my. History of Blue Man, which I did mostly music, mm -hmm. and the, the whole goal there was that the music was going to be indigenous music to Blue Man Group, so it had to be unique. And this is really unique. I mean, the, the, it's unique in a different way. It's unique in the way that you experience the music, which was very interesting to me. I mean, you know, when Annie said, we're going to make a VR opera, would you? And I was like, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> yes. Count me in. But the, but the, the uh, idea that, we're, that you're experiencing music in a different way than going to see it or listening to it on a record or, you know, a CD or something, this is like a, a whole other way to experience the music, which is really unique and really interesting. So you, when you know, you move your head and you have different experiences of the music and the sound and you're a part of a thing in a different way and we are all hoping to push those boundaries mm -hmm. of how you experience the music part mm -hmm. in the next episode and mm -hmm. the next episode. So mm -hmm. that's what got me really excited. About. I love that. Okay, so what is your favorite part of the opera? I have to hear from, from all of you. What is, what's that one part that just stands out to you that's memorable? Well, I mean, I got to play with knives, oh. so that was really exciting. <laughs> Look out for that moment. Annie's the one that punches the knife through yeah. you. Oh, really? I had a very, it down. Look out for this one. I don't know if I want to sit so like, close to you. Sure, <laughs> very animated watcher. Oh my presence. gosh, wow. What about you? Probably writing a, uh, writing the script, right? Mm -hmm. Because like a VR script, I mean, if you do a random search for VR scripts. There's nothing. <laughs> no, so like how do you articulate that on the page? How do you say this is where, these are the kinds of things that we want to have happen right. and, and in this order, you know, mm -hmm. it's a kind of an interesting format. So it was a learning experience yeah, okay. and continues to be so. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. My favorite part was breaking rules and mm -hmm. um, moving the camera. I was really interested from the beginning to move the camera and everyone we talked to was like, no, you can't move the camera, you can't do that. Um, because of nauseousness and all of these things. And, and um, 
we ended up like using a motorized dolly and it was a slow push and it was really nice and it created this floating effect. I love it. Mm. Time. Is your, oh wait, is your question what is my favorite part about opera or about the this production? This particular opera, what's your favorite part this about it? This particular mm -hmm. opera. Okay, so well, my, my, uh, my favorite part of opera is mm -hmm. what I'll tell you. Yeah. Is not as someone who's not like relatively new to the experience. It's not, you know, I'm not uh, trained like Annie and have had a long history with it. Mm -hmm. But the dynamic power of, uh, of, an, you know, of an opera singer is a really intense thing. Mm -hmm. And it has a lot, it's got a, there's a lot of like, there's the amount of power and, and emotional effect that it has is really stunning. And so being like in the room while that was happening, well, you know, like, and over and over again, I kept doing it. I was like, wow, yeah. like, like, she's gonna do it again? <laughs> oh my God. It was really, really intense. This, and they were just, the performers were powering through mm -hmm. yeah. this thing for a really long time and it just never stopped to give me goosebumps. That's amazing. Yeah. And the full production is about nine minutes in length, so it's not your standard two and a half, three hour opera, um, which is amazing, I love that. But how do you think, do you think that this is really going to open up the eyes of people that may have been into virtual reality or really like the gaming aspect, but then may you know pick up this Parksville Murders opera and maybe give opera a try in the future? Is that kind of the goal behind? Absolutely. I mean, I, you know, we've been kind of traveling a festival circuit and screening and exhibiting, and I keep seeing that happen. You know, mm -hmm. like I see people who are here for a VR, you know, related industry thing, and they put on the headset and they watch it. They mm -hmm. stay through it, through the whole thing. You know, oh. it's not one of these like leaving through act five kind of like oh, right. moments. <laughs> so, I mean, I think there's huge opportunity there. And, you know, that's a big part of what we're gonna be working on over the next few months is like, how do we really distribute this as mm -hmm. wide and far as we can mm -hmm. and see who really responds to it. Yeah. I mean, what's also interesting to me is that, you know, when we showcased at the Opera America conference, you know, it was very fun to watch people who are passionate opera people experience it too. And they were into the whole thing. They were ready to dive in and, put on the headsets and it's a really you know, it's exciting a, time for new opera yeah. in the United States. Mm -hmm. Like we don't in the United States and US we don't have a huge history of new opera in this right. country. Not right. like they do mm -hmm. across the pond. Mm -hmm. So this is like, yeah, and I think this is like this is cutting edge. This mm -hmm. is like, hey, where's that audience? Yeah. You know? Absolutely. And so oh, pretty so much ahead. well pretty much everyone we've shown it to, it's been I would say maybe like seventy to eighty percent of the people that have seen it, it's been their first time in headsets. So oh. if it's their first time in the headset, and then <laughs> on top of that, perhaps their first time experiencing opera in 360, in this like heightened way, like what's better than that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Horror. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Parksville. <laughs> exactly. Spurting blood. Spurting blood. <laughs> While singing. <laughs> While singing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay, so when can our viewers see this in their own virtual reality headsets? Is that coming to them soon? Or Yes, yes. We premiere on Samsung VR uh, on Friday, October 20th. Oh, wow. so, so they can download You can go to SamsungVR.com. You okay. sign up for a free account. And it basically works like Netflix. You mm -hmm. can just kind of, you know, browse content and then mm -hmm. choose to download or stream mm -hmm. a piece. So that's where we'll be. And we're part of the featured content. So you'll see us front and center when you go there. <laughs> I cannot wait. Make sure to check this out. But also, what is next for Parksville Murder? We mentioned a little bit about the next few episodes. How many episodes are there? There's six so There's far. Six. Yeah, six so far. Season okay. one. But, Season but you one. know, here's what's interesting. The world of the thing, like Parksville is a destination, and right. the world is so deep and so big that I think it's going to appeal to, yeah, opera folks too, but mm -hmm. it's also going to uh, engage gamer culture, like mm -hmm. people who are used to like going deeper and deeper and deeper into a game. Mm -hmm. So the more episodes that we can create, the deeper that world is and the more, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it's very exciting. And I think the other thing that is kind of like next is that the way that we're exhibiting the piece is a experience unto itself. Yes, please tell so us about we're, that. So we're really focused on um, creating a, a performance and a show and an experience around the 
actual getting into a headset and watching the piece. Mm -hmm. So we have a dome, we have an inflatable dome that we're using that has um, projected video imagery on it. Oh my God. Um, we're so developing like, there's a new aria that's being sung, the Boltman aria that's being sung that kind of like brings people into the dome and they have this whole experience. There's a tub in the dome. There's watchers in the dome, dead bodies, blood you know, like dome. blood. Scent. Yeah, scent. Yeah, with smell yeah, strategically. Scent. Yeah, so yeah. The, the scent. Yeah, so you'll <laughs> walk, you'll walk in, and there's scent. yeah, so you'll walk in, and so uh, the idea is like to kind of like connect all the senses, right? So yeah. you have this gorgeous visual experience, this auditory experience, and you walk in, and you're gonna smell um, damp, wet, decaying earth. So you like you get like wrapped up in whatever this is. So this and is it's also a very like I don't know, there's very uh, Lynchian kind of yeah. chilly, surgical, terrifying. Lots of great costumes and yeah. Amazing you guys. Well thank you so much. And make sure to check out this VR experience on your own tablet and your device. And if you want to see this pop up for their experiential, can they get a hold of you guys and find out more within their city? Yes. I mean we're definitely hoping to to redo this over and over again mm -hmm. now that we have this beautiful dome. So stay tuned. Yes. You can go to theparksvillemurders.com to kind of keep up to date on what's happening yeah. Yeah. with the project. So if you want the dome and that special scent in your city. <laughs> Make sure to check out their website. Also, if you want to find out more, check out the link in the post. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.